What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norn Rad 89 here, bringing you another Rad movie review today. Very excited to talk about a new film that I caught on Shudder, and it's called Oddity. And this one, I would say right now, as it stands currently, I would say this is probably the creepiest, scariest film that I've seen all year and the way that it's handled and stuff. So today you're going to hear my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. <laughs> So Oddity is a 2024 horror thriller. This is directed by Damian MacArthur, and this one stars Carolyn Bracken. And for me, that is like one standout right there is our lead actress who likes for real. This year, 2024, has been a standout year for female performances in horror, and Carolyn Bracken is one of those people I would put up there. She plays two characters in this film. She plays two twin sisters. So there's one sister who actually gets brutally murdered in this film, and then Darcy, who her other sister, the twin sister, kind of goes on a revenge, you know, trying to find out who is responsible for her sister's death. And this film, for me, like I said, as it stands, I said in my intro, in terms of creepiness and scares, this one, I think, tops the charts out of all the films that we've seen this year. This is pretty good. And I want to say right off the bat, another huge, huge positive besides our lead actress is the shots, the cinematography. Everything in this film is very deliberate in terms of the pacing, in terms of the cinematography, the acting, everything. So you can tell that there is such attention paid to detail. So this is one of those films that you have to really kind of sit there and focus on. You can't really be doing other stuff or focusing on other stuff because you're not going to get the full effect of this film for real. You cannot be looking at your phone or you know editing or doing stuff or handling your kids while you're watching this. This is one of those films that you got to sit down in your living room preferably in the middle of the night in a dark room and just watch it and soak up the atmosphere because it is completely littered with atmosphere. And like I said, because of the the camera movement or the lack of camera movement and the way your eyes pay attention to certain objects or certain items in the room, it's like I said, I'm getting chills right now and goosebumps because for real, this film is totally scary and creepy in that aspect. And I love that because this isn't like your typical jump scares, you know what I mean? Like show you something all of a sudden, loud sound, out of nowhere, this, this, that. There are a couple jump scares in this film like this, but then there's also some that is, like I said, it's just very deliberate in terms of the way the camera's moving, where we pan, or like I said, the lack of movement, and then the use of lighting. So yes, very expertly handled in terms of all the attention to detail with this film. I also really love the use of items in this film and that you'll learn more as you watch the film because I don't want to spoil it. Again, if I say too much, I'm going to spoil this movie. But the use of items and specifically in this film is like another thing that I really love. I'm just talking about items in general around the, the your house, you know, a trunk, uh, a bell, anything like that. Just the way that they use a lantern. There are certain ways that they use stuff in this movie, and I think it's very much reminiscent of some creepy, scary stuff. And like I said, this is going to be one of those long-lasting films that I'm going to be very excited to revisit every spooky season. I also like the sound effects and sound design. This is one of those movies, too, that like it really hones in on being alone being in a home or being secluded in an area far away from people because it kind of has that, you know, isolation atmosphere, you know, only having one or two people in a location and you're far away from everybody else. And the use of sound is so good, too. So, yeah, this film, I can't praise this film enough. This is one of those films that right now, as it stands, is easily in my top 10 horror of the year it's easily right now in the top 10 i gotta watch some other films and then kind of rank all of them and stuff and there's some more coming out this year but this is one that like i said i'm praising so much because i want people to go out and watch this like i said you could currently stream this on shutter and i definitely recommend it because in terms of the atmosphere the storytelling it's gripping too because it's one of those films that gives you certain story elements in the beginning and then I think the pacing's great because by the time you get to the 30, 40 minute mark, you're learning new things, you're unwrapping new things about the story. And it's not necessarily twists, it's just kind of like those aha, like revelation moments, you know what I mean? And you're right ahead of them. So that's what I think is best. When a movie is able to do that thing where you kind of figure things out and then they tell you right after, 
I feel like that's a great pacing. You know, you're on par with the film. You're you're right in there with the characters, and I love that about this movie. Another thing I want to praise about this film is the gore moments. There's very few gore moments, but I think they're handled beautifully and to perfection. And me, I'm a gore hound. I'm one of those people that typically wants, you know, Friday the 13th level, Terrifier level gore, like, you know, you know, certain stuff like that. But this isn't one of those films, but it has gory moments like that. And I really enjoy that, that it doesn't spare any expense, but it's not overwhelmingly like, oh, linger on this shot. It's very suddenly and you see it. And because it's so different from the rest of the film, those shots specifically stand out. So I think, like I said, the director and writer, cinematographer, everything that the attention to detail they paid with the pace and the atmosphere of this film add to that like I said they threw in these really kind of gruesome moments that are kind of like levity moments because you're held on the edge of your seat creepy and you don't know what's happening and like I said there's ghost aspects in here and spiritual stuff so it plays on that as well but then there are some really gruesome moments so yeah this film has just about everything I wanted in it but let's talk about some mixed and negatives the one thing I want to say with the mixed and negatives is that I like the third act. Can't spoil it. I don't want to talk about it too much. I like the third act. I'm just still right now marinating on the very ending shot. The very ending lingering shot. I'm very I'm really marinating on that right now. I definitely want to watch this again. I put this on letterbox and I wrote this on my letterbox that I can't wait to revisit this film and I'm going to revisit this film with my wife and see if we can watch it in the, like nighttime in the middle of the night and watch this film and really soak it up because I think it's going to really get to her and get some people jumping and I'll probably ask my daughters if they want to watch it too and stuff so yes this is one I can't wait to revisit but I'm still marinating on that third act and I kind of want to get other people's opinions on it but in terms of mixed and negatives that's really all I got besides other things that this is a very deliberately slow paced film this is kind of just a warning to people this isn't one of those you know it's not like terrifier or you know like even like trap it's not like those films where it's kind of like very fast paced this is deliberately paced slow so that way you can kind of get sucked into the atmosphere and the mood of the film kind of like in a violent nature that's how i would describe it but it's not not as slow paced as that but it's more in that category than it is in the other ones in terms of the way you're going to feel when you're watching this movie so that's just kind of a warning to you but I absolutely love this film, and I can't, like I said, can't wait to revisit this film, the film, an oddity in my book. Before I start tripping over my words anymore, oddity in my book for a rad rating is going to get a 9 out of 10 in my book. That's a very strong rating, and I think this is easily one of the best horror films that have come out this year. And I, like as it stands right now, it's in my top 10, but we still got some other stuff coming out. I still have to see Smile 2. I have to see The Substance. I haven't seen those two. Those are two very... Very big films I haven't seen this year, and also Nosferatu comes out in December. So we still got some more movies to watch first before we kind of nail down that top 10 horror of the year. But as it stands right now, Oddity is one that I highly, highly recommend you go check out. And please let me know down below in the comment section if you've seen this one. What are your thoughts on this movie? Because I would love to discuss with you down below. Please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I drop a video, but most importantly, I want y'all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.